Hello and welcome back to episode 3, well week 3, of the FM League Extra with me, your host, Dr. Benji FM, but you can call me Ben. Uh, so, later on in the show, we've got Jake, Rick and Paul on the line. Uh, there were 16 goals this week, 4 in each. Let's see what's coming up. Rhodes! Jordan Rhodes scores! After 3 minutes. Basically, let's imagine this mouse mat is the script. The time then, don't do anything stupid. What are you doing? You're complete prune. It's Daniel Sturridge! He's, oh, is he offside? He's offside! No! Is he offside? I'm gonna go to the doctors, get on those antidepressants, I think, because that was shambolic. We'll get this back. Oh, bollocks. So, that's what's coming up. And first of all, let's have a look at the game between Kayvani and Stat App. Both won last week. Which one was gonna fall this? Oh, Sturridge is through. He's one on one. It's Daniel Sturridge! He's, oh, is he offside? He's offside! No! Is he offside? He's not. Oh! He's not offside! We're 1-0 up! Lamella. Sturridge. Oh my god! We're 2-0 up! Daniel Sturridge! This game is not over by any stretch of the imagination, but that is a, a hell of a start. No way are we 2-0 up. Oh, that's poor. We're, we're alright. We've got it. Lamella. Can you put a ball in? Fabregas? It's 3! Oh my god! No way! Sesc Fabregas has scored, it's 3 0! A oh, bit of pride, bit of pride! Get in! 3 1! Fellini! A lifeline for start up, it says, I don't think it is. Alright, so their final score 3 1, Kevani. Well played to them. So, Kevani was the victor, and I'm joined by him now. Jake, welcome, how are you? Yeah, I'm brilliant, thanks. How are you? This is the first time we've done this. I've not had to do three takes of this before, have I? No, definitely not. <sighs> Good. Right then, you beat uh, you beat Luke, that's his name, I've got there. You beat Luke 3-1. Uh, some people were a little bit surprised by the victory, but what went right for you? What went wrong for him? Everything seemed to go right for me. I mean, from the very start, I think we were, what, 12 minutes in? Or something like that. Or And, uh, yeah, Daniel Storage popped up with another goal. And from then on, we didn't really look back. And then... I think 12 minutes later he scored again and then we scored at a good time in the second half I think midway through the second half to kill the game off and then hung on unfortunately got a goal late on which was annoying but yeah. you know you can't have it all well it's, 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 it was an interesting result based on the fact that a lot of people were tipping Luke to win it outright no questions asked he beat Paul yep. last week mm -hmm. and then he came to your gaff and yep. you, you proper nobbed him, to be fair. Uh, I would say nobbed him. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, I'd say so. When you told me, my reaction was like, what? What? Yeah. No, you can't have done. But you mm -hmm. did. Uh, and you mentioned Daniel Sturridge there. Him and Lamela. Lamela's top of the assist charts. Sturridge is top of the uh, the goal scoring charts. We'll look at that later. Mm -hmm. they, they are your star men, right? Good picks, it turns out. Well, yeah, it would seem so, so far, two games in. Um, to be fair, Sturridge has been a bit hit and miss. During the friendlies, He was he couldn't score at all he, he was really struggling to put any chances away but when it comes to the real thing tweaked his position a bit playing him as a false nine now so Ooh. he seems to be enjoying it keep that noted down fellow managers if you're playing Paul next week and I know he watches so Paul get that down right good luck down. keeping him quiet that's oh all I, can say. I like that I like that a lot we'll be talking to Paul later um so looking forward to that game against Paul yeah. uh, obviously he's still got Messi he's beaten Rick he's back on track uh, mm -hmm. after his first week defeat Yep. How do you fancy your chances? Obviously, he's got some goals in him, but leaky. Yeah, I mean, I'm a, a bit more confident in my team now that I've got a system sorted where we seem to be scoring goals. But having seen his three goal scorers from the last game, Falcao, Hazard <laughs> and Messi, he's yeah. got a, a lot of uh, options there. But saying that, we've just come up against, you know, Ronaldo, Rooney, and some, you know, David Silva, people like that, so... We're, we're, we're confident going into the game now. We're, we're building up a bit of confidence and hopefully we can take this momentum into the uh, to the knockout rounds as well. Yeah, obviously beating Luke and then having to face Paul straight after is quite a nice way to kind of have that, get those out of the way. Get yes, those sorted. get them out early. Three yeah. games in, we've already played you know, a few of the big boys. Yeah. So. And it's, it's important to know, you are top of the We can see it there. You are top of the league. I can't believe it. Who would have um, thought it? Six points, five, a, a plus five goal difference early on. You must be, you know, you're the favourite now. Well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's been a really good start. Like I said, it's, I don't think anyone would have predicted it. To be fair, it's been a, it's been good. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm proud of you, Jakey. Thank I'm you. Proud Me of too. You. Anyway, uh, we'll wrap that up there. Uh, where can we find you if we want to find you? Uh, on Twitter at Kevani, or you can search my my name Kevani yeah. on YouTube, and I'll be yeah, there. There's, there's links in the description, yeah. folks. Get down there, enjoy yourselves. Right then, thank you very much, Jake, and uh, we'll see you again in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was cute.
So, as ever, it was lovely to hear from Jake Cave. Uh, let's roll on to the next game. It was Golden FM versus TTT V2. Uh, it was Paul versus Rick. Let's see how they fared. Obviously, both struggled last week, looking to bounce back. But who bounced back? The highest? Is that right? Let's, let's find out. Over to Messi. And he caused problems. Falcao's open. Is he onside? Yes, I am. First goal of the season. There's Just very quickly, I want to make clear that that's not my graphic. Paul actually put that in his own video. I don't know either. Good old Falcao down there. <laughs> Doesn't look anything like him. Sigurdsson, play it through. No, what are you doing? Get rid of the ball. Now, oh, for Tongan, don't do anything stupid. What are you doing? You're complete prune. Oh, Van Persie missed. How did he miss? For Tongan, you complete idiot. What were you doing? Falcao. Inter. Oh, he's gone back to Falcao. Hazard. Scores 2 0. Good stuff, Hazard. Oh. Sigurdsson. Plays it nicely through to Falcao. Into Messi. 3 0. Oh. Thank you, Messi. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. In the uh, squad review, I said Bale will set this league on fire. And, uh, yeah, it hasn't happened. But we got one back. There we go. Just keep it. Keep hold of the ball now, guys. Nothing stupid is needed. No, that is not That is not what you're meant to do, Schneiderlin. And we've won. We've won 3-1. I'm going to go to the doctors, get on those antidepressants, I think, because that was shambolic. Absolutely shambolic. Piss poor. Look at his ratings compared to mine. So there it was, a 3-1 win for Golden FM, and Paul joins me now. Paul, how are you? Howdy, Ben. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you very much for asking. Yeah. Um, so you got yourself a win after being handedly beaten by StatApp. Uh, you took on Rick and a 3-1 victory was on the cards. I'm very happy uh, with that, really, because obviously I lost the first game, so needed a win to get back into it, and uh, I produced. Messi you did, produced. You did Fal produce. Hazard produced. It was wonderful. It was uh, three of your, was it like your th first three picks. They must have been up there. I imagine I, Falcao actually, might be a bit I later. Think Falcao but... was a bit lower because I think everyone was screaming in the chat for someone to pick Falcao. But yeah, <laughs> Hazard and Messi. Yeah. Produced, uh, well, nice. as you say, you got uh, you got your goal scorers there. Three big names finally coming big for you. Didn't it, well, it was kind of happened in the first game, but it was kind of big names we big names. And your big name didn't quite do it on that occasion. But this time round, 3-1. Uh, didn't keep a clean sheet though, Paul. And that's what I'm going to focus on. Well, it was a set piece. So well, it's always hard to defend against At it. least you know what you're going to be training next week. So I must say, nice. Ron Vlaar was impressive. There was now, a really good double <laughs> tackle he did at one point, which I was just, well, I applauded. It was amazing. You got, we'll give him credit. But Winston Reid has fallen by the wayside, Paul. I'm saving him. You big this, yeah, well, you said that in your time video. will come. You've been bigging him up. I've been waiting for him. I'm waiting for a moment um, for him to come absolutely massive for you. When are we going to see him? That's what people want to know. When are I'll, we going to see Winston Reid? I'm just gradually training him up as an inverted fullback. Uh, oh, inverted wing back, you oh see. I see. He's got plans. And, uh, He's got plans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, maybe. I mean, Vertonghen made an awful mistake. So perhaps he'll be replaced by Winston Reid. We'll see. Well, maybe Vlar and Reid at the I'll back. I'll tell you what. FM League fans are hoping for the hoping. Uh, we <laughs> spoke to Jake Cave earlier. Cavani, top of the table is Cavani. Um, yeah, he, he absolutely mauled that up, uh, and he's playing you next. So, you know, I, you may not have seen this result at the time of this interview, but I'll tell you now, it was three one to Cavani. He beats that up. So he's won five one and three one. Yes, and right? he's top wow. of the league. Eight uh, goals. Yeah, I've got six, so not too far behind. Well. But you're, how are you going to stop him? Sturridge is top goal scorer in the league, and he's, you've got to stop him somehow. Oh, Winston Reid. Well, is this the mo is that, well, here we go, is this the moment? Is this Winston Reid's time? He plays for? a sweeper. What, behind your, the your, other tool, your other two centre backs? <laughs> yeah. All Possibly. Right. I mean, maybe just throwing out a curveball there for Jake. <laughs> so, are you going to stick with the same formation? Going to stay with the same plan for Jakey Cave? Or knowing now that he's absolutely, you know, he's given Stat App the run around, Stat favourite in many people's eyes. Is that going to change your whole kind of... Yeah, possibly. Yeah, well. I mean, my uh, formation is a bit of a strange one with no right winger. Two up front. Yeah. Lopsided. It is lopsided, so, but it, it worked this time round. So you, well, the you trick is, now? I mean, the, my secret is Messi drifts out wide to the right. So he's basically a right winger and a striker at the same time. Well, so, thank you for letting the viewers and the other managers know the secret that Paul's well, got. Well, maybe I won't do that again. No, see. well, have you got a quick, before you go, score prediction. Uh, how do you think you're going to get on? Obviously, you've well, got yourself a win. 
I think I'm going to win 4-0. 4-0. 4-0. Jake, I have to, I have Jake to you have refused to comment because I forgot to ask him. But 4-0, that is... I have to be brave. Uh, well, yeah, I, I, I appreciate it. I think I probably will concede a goal. Right, Although so, if Winston okay. Reed's in there in the sweeper in the sweeper's position, you never know. I think let's he... not let's not rule it out, Paul. <laughs> let's not rule it out. We shall see. <laughs> okay, well thank you very much for joining me and we'll see you in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, yeah, good luck in your too. game against Jake Cave. Where can, oh, you, before man. you go, where can we find you on the internet? Uh, at golden underscore FM or good. YouTube or Facebook. I'm everywhere. He's everywhere, people. I, I am. Part time model, part time floor manager, connoisseur, Paul Holden. Thank you for talking to me, Paul. That's all right, Ben. <laughs> Take care. Too. So that was Paul Holden from Golden FM and it's time now to look at the big clash of the week. Well, one of the bigger clashes of the week. It was last week's league leader, Evolving Mick, taking on yours truly. Oh, my arm is a bit obvious there. Taking on yours truly, uh, Dr. Benji FM. Was the winner the one we all predicted or was it Mick? Find out. Come on, James E. Milner. <gasps> Eto, I'll tell you what, he doesn't know what to do. He is panicked. Mick Marr Jr. is panicked. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what to do against this. I'm not sure how it's working either. Basically, let's imagine this mouse mat is the script. It's gone. Drive him the willy. Penetrate, willy. In comes the cross. Boney! 1-1. One, one. Back in. Wilfred Boney, my man. We'll get this back. Ah, oh, bollocks. Can we do it again to Mick Marr Jr.? Eto, Henderson. <gasps> De Maria Suarez! Goal, goal, goal! The sign seal and deliver it. Eto, ball through. De Maria, Luis Suarez. Good night. Thank you very much, folks. It's been lovely meeting you. It's a demolition job. He's been stunned. He has been stunned. Thank you very good Folks, folks, I don't know what to say. I, ca I cannot be happier with the performance. A, a very brave tactic. It came out well bamboozled us and took the win so we're going to be on three points let's get back in with them now thank you mick what a lovely lead in from mick there it's like he knew we we're going to use that bit of footage to uh, splice in the rest of the show so yeah three one win for me i'm feeling a bit smug uh, i can't pretend i'm not because i am uh, <laughs> i didn't think i'd beat him that's why i tried a tactic which i didn't think would work i knew it would confuse him and i didn't think he'd know how to sort of stop it, it working if it was to work but that was obviously quite a big gamble on my part. After getting a 2 2, I was kind of hell for leather. I thought if we lose, oh, we lose a game. But if we win, that puts us right in there. And we're back in second, second up there somewhere. Look at that. That's fancy, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, I'm pleased with it, obviously. Got to be pleased with it. Um, going into next week, I've got to keep on, though. Because obviously, catching Jakey K is the new mission. Uh, now, Mick plays TTTV2, Rick, uh, later on in the season soon yeah in just a moment so we're about to talk to rick right on the other side of this short message da, 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 da. short jingle to ask you who do you think will win the fm league and who do you think will come bottom of the league format let me know in the comment section down below and i'll read out some of the best answers so be descriptive uh, on next week's show see you in a moment so as mentioned i am joined by tttv2 rick malloy's with me uh rick how are you I'm not too bad then, are you? I'm not too bad. Now, we spoke to Golden FM earlier and we discussed your game in a little bit of detail. Uh, but mm. let's hear your side of it then. You drew against me. Um, I was a bit Ooh. lucky, if, we, if I'm going to be honest, now, two weeks later. <laughs> um, uh, against Paul, though, what went wrong? I don't know. I was well and truly humbled, man. So I was a bit <laughs> baffled by his formation at first. Yeah. But he scored like within three minutes, I think it was, with a yeah. deadly messy cross and Falcao header. He's, <laughs> he's just a really good player, Paul. I got around it to him. Yeah. That is that is very magnanimous. Like I, I just I think it's luck. I think Paul has fluked his way <laughs> to victory because your team on paper, like I don't I don't know. I'm not trying to blame you, Rick, but your team on paper is very good. It is. I don't see. I think so far the theme is random formations do a lot better. <laughs> uh, I'm, yeah, I put a case forward for that as well. I think. No, yeah. you're not wrong. So, what are you going to do to change it up, though? Because you've got you've got your boy evolving Mick uh, coming up. I have. Yeah. How are you going to change it up? What are you going to sp surprise him with? He's going to have to change things. I, I smashed him, so he's going to have to do something different. Uh, so, what are you going to do? I'm going to go and see if there's a new version of the grid. Good. Yeah. So you're going to you're going to hark back to old times. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Well, that is a that is a wonderful link because I'm yeah. going to ask you now what it was like back then, Rick. Because you were, this is like two titans going up against each other. This is, I, I can't think of the this is like a Liverpool Manchester United kind of match. Um, of the old, isn't it? Really? It is a battle of the oldies. You've said it. Mm. Um, <laughs> so, 
back then when you and Mick were sort of doing videos, obviously there's, there's a new breed now. There is. Part of, I've, I've probably included. I hate to admit it. <laughs> um, but I want to know a little bit. What was it like back when you started? Because obviously you, you were the first people to hit the genre of football manager videos and make it your own. So what was it? What, how is it different now? It's a lot busier. There's, like you say, there's a lot of um, new people coming through. But I think the style of football manager has changed on YouTube now because you know back in the day, everyone would just pick a team and then do like a more of like a documentary about the journey of the club. But now I think really um, a lot of people are focusing on like experiments, tips and tricks, and I think it's, it's a new audience now. Yeah. So do you? Um, this, is, this is a controversial answer that you might have to give to this. Mm. But do you, Do you like it now, or did you prefer it then, or, oh. or can you see both sides? I much prefer it now because oh. the community, yeah, the community is a lot more active and it's yeah. a lot more relaxed now. Back then, like, I don't know if you was around or like you saw, but there were so many people at war with each other. <laughs> um, just people like literally going out to destroy people's channels and slate people down. But there's none of that now. Everyone's yeah. all chilled. Everyone's all relaxed, and everyone's coming together for the love of the beautiful game. So, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how the league goes, and then maybe well, things yeah. will get aggressive, and then, yeah. I will have to mix things up a bit. Oh, Start yeah, taking like, a few people out. Jack's yeah. on the hit list. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you that much right now, Rick. When we're on air, I will say all like, these positive things and be <laughs> yeah. pretty humble. But, you know, when it's off cam, you know, I think you're all <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, you. well, I'm, I'm bleeping that. So, <laughs> <laughs> you can guess what he said, people. Uh, so, moving on, um, against Mick, are you going to win? That's the question. I, I want to hear confidence, Rick. I think that's what's lacking. I need yeah, confidence from yeah, you. Yeah, no, I'm due a win. I'm due yeah, a win. You are. Absolutely, yeah. So, score prediction. There's a lot of goals in this tournament. I'm going 4-3. Oh, yes. 4-3 Bourbon. I would enjoy that. I would enjoy that mm. a lot. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll leave it there. Where can we find you on the internet if we want to see more of you, Rick? You can find me on the Twitter at TTTV2. Yeah. TTTV2. Type it out, people. Yeah, go for it. And you're on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Total Team Talk V2. There good. Go. <laughs> right, uh, links, of course, will be in the description below. Thank you very much for joining me, Rick, and, uh, and good luck then. against Evolving Mick. Nice one. Cheers, dude. Lovely. So we've heard from all three interviewees this week, but we're not finished. There was one more game to cover, and it was the two, you know, scrubbers at the bottom. It was worth the space versus second yellow card. And as we're on the attack here, go on, Mason. Rhodes! Jordan Rhodes scores! After three minutes, Jordy Rhodes. That is why I drafted you, son. The Flying Scotsman. Gareth Barry with the ball there. Drops it through for Sergio Aguero. Yes! 1-1. One, one. That's what we need to see. Please don't be offside, Sergio. Right, it is not offside and it is one all here. De Rossi, it's 2-1 to... <laughs> there we go. And now we're really starting to dominate this game. Toro with the ball in. Cross comes in. Lovren somehow gets a touch. I think it's going to be given to Lovren. It is. That's a goal. Lalana to whip one in. It's De Rossi. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Oh. Lalana's ball in. De Rossi again. Off the crossbar again. Oh, hello. We've held on there for an invaluable victory. Looks like we're going to get our first points of the tournament, it would seem. But it is going to be in a two-all. So that leaves the league table looking a little bit like this. Uh, I will start from the bottom up, shall you? So we're at the space and second yellow card. Uh, drew 2-2. So the points are on the board. Jordan Rhodes got his first goal, which is always irritating. Uh, TTV2 slipped down a little bit after his defeat to Golden FM, who obviously got his three points and his level on points with statistical approach and evolving Mick. Uh, only goal difference separates them. Uh, and then finally, up top there, me and Kay Varney, uh, I've, I've put myself on four points. I can't really believe I'm there, to be honest. Uh, and Kay Varney is storming it. Two wins from his two matches. And he's got to be pleased with that. So let's have a little look at the top scorers and the top assist makers. Uh, as you can see, Daniel Sturridge on top. Ronaldo, Messi, Boney, Suarez. Cavani, Rooney, uh, not too far behind. Jordan Rhodes, as well as 20 others, have scored one goal. Uh, elsewhere, top assist makers, Lamela Falcao and Gareth Barry. What a, what a trio that would be. Uh, Wilshire de Maria, Royce Boney, not too far behind. As you can see, loads of people uh, with one assist. Zatla, Zlatan got his first this week. Uh, top players then, overalls this week. Uh, we've got this week's and the overalls. But this took ages, so I hope you appreciate this. Uh, this week's top performers were Daniel Sturridge, Rodamal Falcao and Luis Suarez. You can see it's dominated by the teams that win. Uh, and overall, Sturridge leading the way. Can you believe it? He's scoring so many goals for Jakey that he's having a terrific time of it. Messi, Royce, Gerard, Boney, Lamela, Cristiano Ronaldo in there for statistical approach uh, Falcao and Fabregas also doing extremely well but obviously if there's going to be top performers there has to be performers of lowest of the low and uh, <laughs> this week Koscielny with a 5.7 for evolving Mick had a torrid time against Luis Suarez Jimmy Rodden Angel de Maria uh, Carrick and Shawcross back again after last week and as you can see on that right hand side look at Ryan Shawcross a 5.9 Jack what a pick he was, eh? Uh, Sanya is in there as well for 
the second yellow card, but it is littered with orange. And uh, I think that is all to do with uh, well, the space is picks during the uh, during the draft. Now, week two fixtures coming up next week. We have a whole host of fixtures for you. Uh, week three, TTV2. Uh, we'll be playing Evolving Mick and a Clash of the Titans at 3 o'clock. Golden FM and Kevani will be meeting. We spoke to both of them earlier. That'll be a 6 o'clock upload on the Thursday. Uh, I get my first Thursday game on 3 p.m. versus second yellow card. And at 6 p.m., the two big boys, statistical approach and where the space will face off. Who is the better manager? We'll find out then. Uh, and as ever, the FM League Extra Saturday Weekly, hosted by me, Dr. Benji. And I'll be back next week. And there are the Twitters for all the guys. Matt, Luke, Ben, Paul, Nick, Jake, Rick and Jack. I didn't know why I changed that up at the end there. And uh, all the links to everybody's channel will be in the description down below. So there we have it. That brings us to the end of another FM League Extra. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, of course, please leave a like on the video. And uh, come back again next week if you've enjoyed it that much. We'll be here again. Uh, so for me, Dr. Benji, thank you very much for watching. You stay classy, you stay humble. And I'll see you next time. And finally, let's just remember that these FM Extra shows don't always go to plan. Statistical approach. And joined with me now, the victor, Jakey Cave. How are we? Don't do that. Don't talk because I've not unmuted yet because of earlier. That was your fault. Right. <laughs> oh my God. Right. Oh God. I was going to be able to say at the end of the series, ah, oh, every interview was a breeze. This one will stick in the memory. Take right. three. Take, don't you dare. Right. Action. <laughs> off. Right. So there we have it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God's sake. Why? This is ah oh, never happens. It's never happens. Quite unset. Take four. <laughs> don't don't keep. We'll be on take nineteen in a minute.